Garden Report is brought to you by Price Picks and the Game Time app. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to an off day edition of the Garden Report at Summer League. The Celtics practice today. Noah Delzell here uh, from Celtics Blog. And we got to talk to JD Davison as well as Ron Harper Jr. for the first time. We saw Jane Springer, who as we entered, there was still some practice going on and he wasn't participating in any of it. I've heard that his summer league's probably over. There could be one more game in store for him. Of course, he sat out the game against the Lakers. Uh, Hornets up next on Wednesday, so uh, that could either be his finale or he could be already be done after one really strong performance. I know you asked DJ McClay about it, and he said he was just really good in that first game, and we'll see. There doesn't seem to be any injury concern. Uh, maybe there's something minor there that they're just being cautious about, but uh, this is how it usually goes. If you come out and dominate at Summer League and you don't look like you need it, they don't usually want to put you at risk of anything, and if there's nothing you can get out of it, they'll shut you down qu pretty quickly. But that was really quickly for Springer. Yeah, I'm not surprised that he had a one-game stint in him because, after all, you know, he was finals MVP of the G League, not last year, but the year prior to that. So he's already excelled at this level. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is. He might have a little something lingering. When I followed up with DJ and asked, like, is he hurt? He said, we don't think so. Um, I thought that was kind of just a weird way to phrase it. Maybe maybe nothing to read into it. Maybe he's dealing with a little lingering something and they don't want to label him as hurt, but they figured he's better off just sitting for the rest of the way. But I think we're mostly going to not see a whole lot more of Springer. And that's kind of the whole point of the Summer League, right, is to give other guys a chance who are fighting for roster spots. You know, his spot's guaranteed. He's going to be on the team this year. Um, you know, this is an opportunity for guys like J.D. Davison, who's on, on that two-way, but he's been on that two-way for a while. Um, and then other, play, other players like Jemias Ramsey, who I thought looked pretty good last night, and um, he's someone that's battling for a spot. So it makes sense for Jaden to kind of sit out and then clear out some of those minutes for somebody else to step in. And he did look so good in that first game um, that I think he probably checked the boxes, did what he had to do, played well on both ends, um, and they feel comfortable kind of deferring his minutes to somebody else now. The mayor's K to probably in a similar place. I could maybe see him playing one more, uh, if at all. I haven't heard anything on that front, but he just came out and dominated to the degree we wanted to see from him. So I'm sure he's in a similar place. He was kind of off to the side, just focusing on stretching too uh, at the practice part we saw today. Uh, so that's where my mind goes there too. Obviously don't know anything about that, but he could probably be the next guy to sit down, whether it's now or after this next game. Yeah, we'll probably see more Jordan Walsh minutes. I don't think he's going anywhere. More, more Baylor Shireman and Anton Watson. Um, and then some of these other guys, I was just talking to a scout that spoke so highly of Ron Harper Jr. Basically said, you know, when he was a two-way in Toronto last year, he really looked like he was going places and then had that injury. And it's just so hard for these two ways to recover from when they have a major surgery. I mean, we think about Jay Scrub from last summer league. He looked so good. Everybody was optimistic for him, tears his ACL. I don't know the latest on him, but I mean, we haven't heard much, right? So um, he's somebody that maybe he'll get an increased opportunity here with some of these more established guys sitting out and, and giving him a chance. So we haven't seen a whole lot from Ron Harper Jr. so far, but we did get to talk to him at practice today. Um, he sounds like a, a guy that's just wants to play hard and work hard. I asked him what he wants Celtics fans who don't know a lot about him to know about him. And he said, you know, that I'm a gritty, tough guy and that I put the team first. Um, so he's somebody that we'll keep our eye on over these next few days. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of part of the fun of the, the summer league clear out is that as some of the guys that we know really well sit out, it just opens up opportunities for others. Yeah, he's intriguing can hit threes. He's, he's on the short side for a guy who kind of plays like a four. Uh, and he's hit a couple shots here at camp so far, or summer league so far, still trying to recover from that shoulder injury. He talked a little bit about that at practice today, uh, why he was out from December until June. Keep winning, keep contributing to the team in whichever way I can. You know, ultimately just help these guys get wins, you know. I know we all have goals here at summer league. You know, mine is just to win as a team and do everything together and just be a part of a winning team. So. For Celtics fans who aren't familiar with your game, what would you want them to know about you? Just what do you bring to the court? Uh, you know, I just bring toughness. You know, I me feel like I face adversity a lot, so a lot of grit. Just things that have been embarked on me throughout my journey to get here, you know, in college and in high school. So as a player that's just going to play hard, play the right way, and play within himself and know his game. I mean, it wasn't really hard, you know. It was, Shooting the basketball is like riding a bike, so I couldn't really shoot for like three, four months. But as soon as I got back in the gym, you know, the jump shot felt good. It felt way better than before I got hurt. So just getting back into that, finding that shot, finding that flow, you know, it's been feeling real good. But just getting up shots, getting up reps, that's the most important thing to see that go in. So. 
So it was good to hear him say he's actually feeling better about his shot now than he was even before the surgery there. But like you said, he was an intriguing guy. Guys who go through Toronto end up pretty well developed, so I'm glad that's the basis he got yeah. uh, for his career. And I don't know if there's a two-way spot here. Maybe he'd play in Maine this year on a, G on a G League contract. Uh, he's obviously set to come to Celtics camp now with the Exhibit 10 contract he signed. Uh, so he's someone I've had my eye on. He hasn't wowed me immensely in any way so far. And again, at 6'4", that's a challenge. Uh, but he's strong. He's got a shot. And he's been in the NBA already, like you said, impressed with Toronto there. So he was a guy when they signed him for Summer League. I was like, all right, that's interesting because yeah. I loved him in college. I'm surprised to hear he's 6'4 because I feel like standing next to us today, he seemed big. He didn't he's, seem like a He's strong. He's, a big he's got a big frame. Um, but yeah, maybe he's a guy that we'll see a little bit more. Uh, we saw a couple minutes of a Jalen House last night, Eddie House's son. Um, you know, I don't foresee that he's pretty small actually seeing him in person but I don't foresee that he's somebody that's going to be you know getting something offered by the end of the summer here but just you know another another guy to keep our eye on so yeah I think this is just going to be another opportunity to see who steps up and I do think JD Davison is going to kind of play this through maybe I'm wrong um, but they really like him out there not just because of his development but he just gets things organized and I think you need somebody to kind of put some put some structure in place when you have you know, a roster that's known each other for a week and so many guys coming from different places with different skill sets. So JD is someone that I think while we might see, you know, Kata sit out and, and Springer is probably done, I wouldn't be surprised if Davison plays a few more games here and just kind of continues to set the tone and get everybody organized. I think that he just that benefits everybody else on the roster. Yeah, no official update on Springer, but it does sound like he's probably done here at Springer League, so, uh, Summer League. <laughs> so uh, we'll have an official update when that happens. Of course, we're brought to you by the Game Time app. Go to Game Time. Use code CLNS for $20 off your first ticket purchase over there. Terms apply. She's Noah Dalzell. I'm Bobby Mann. This has been the Garden Report. And Celtics Hornets is up next tomorrow. We'll have all the coverage of that here on CLNS Media and Celtics All Access.